Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about gene cloning, which is a chapter of genetic engineering. So let's get started. So before talking about the complicalities of gene cloning, let's just talk about the basic steps of gene cloning. So starting with the first step, it says that the construction of recombinant DNA molecule. So the first channel that challenge that comes to us in gene cloning is the construction of recombinant DNA molecule. So what it is all about. So DNA recombinant DNA uh, molecule is nothing but a fragment of DNA which contains the particular gene to be cloned. So we insert this particular fragment of gene of DNA into a circular DNA molecule called which is also called as a vector to produce a recombinant DNA plasmid molecule. So I'll be showing the pictorial view of the entire steps of gene cloning. So the first step was to construct a recombinant DNA molecule in which a particular DNA, so let's say this is a piece of DNA which contains the uh, particular gene of interest which needs to be inserted into a circular DNA. So we want this particular piece of uh, DNA to be inserted into a circular DNA. So this insertion of DNA into a circular DNA is called construction of recombinant DNA molecule. So this is the way we are going to prepare the recombinant DNA molecule. So coming to the second step, which says that introduction of recombinant DNA to the host cells. So after we have prepared the recombinant DNA, now we'll introduce or add on the recombinant DNA, DNA cell to the host cell. So let's say this is the recombinant DNA that we have made. So this particular recombinant DNA needs to be added into the host cell or needs to be introduced into the host cell. All right, so, uh, so these are done by two methods, which can be electroporation or CaCl2, or the other one is the heat shock methods. So these are the two methods that are uh, followed by in today to introduce a certain recombinant DNA into a host cell. So come to the third step, which is the multiplication of recombinant DNA molecule. So now that we have introduced the uh, host cell or the recombinant DNA into the host cell, so this would look something like this. So now we have the recombinant DNA into the host cell. Now what the recombinant DNA will do is they will multiply in themselves to produce more and more of their form. So they will form more and more recombinant DNA molecules inside the host cells. So look something like this. So after the multiplication of recombinant DNA is done, what happens is cell division takes place. So now in this case, division of host cells takes place. So now we will have two host cells like this, which will contain many uh, recombinant DNA molecules like this. So it will contain many DNA molecules, recombinant DNA molecules part like this. So, uh, so this is the fourth step which says that cell division will occur in which the entire host cell will divide into two identical forms to form two host cells now, which will contain the recombinant DNA molecules. All right. And the last step is the selection of recombinant DNA molecules. So this last and the most important step is the selection of how we'll determine a particular recombinant DNA molecule. So a recombinant plasmid DNA is selected by presence of antibodies and other molecules in the medium. So it depends on the type of selectable marker gene present in the plasmid vector. So there are different methods of detecting a recombinant DNA molecule, which can be either by antibiotics or by the presence of selectable marker that are present in a plasmid vector. So these are the, the host cells are also known as, uh, the recombinant molecules are also known as vectors which contain a selectable marker so through which we can detect the recombinant DNA cells. So now I'll show you a picture of the entire step looks like. So this is the entire procedure of gene cloning. So as I said, it all starts with the construction of recombinant DNA molecule, which starts with the vector. So the vector is nothing but a circular DNA. So the circular DNA is uh, added to the fragment of DNA. So the fragment of DNA is nothing but the particular piece of DNA which contains the required gene. So let's say this particular fragment of gene has the required gene which will be ligated onto the circular DNA and which would look something like this. So now that we have 
ligated that particular fragment of DNA into the vector, this would at whole be called now a recombinant DNA molecule. So this altogether known as the recombinant DNA molecule. So after that we have formed the recombinant DNA molecule. Now, as I said, will transport the particular DNA molecule into the host cell. So this is how it would look like. So now we have these, but this particular recombinant DNA into the inside the host cell. After that, multiplication will occur as said. So this will look something like this. And thereafter, the division of these host cells will occur. So now we have two host cells like this. So we have identical two host cells which would contain the recombinant DNA molecules. And lastly, we'll identify or select the recombinant DNA molecules as per different methods of uh, antibiot antibodies or the presence of a selectable marker. So this was the entire step of gene cloning. So let's just keep this video till here. I'll be back with another video. Thanks for watching.